Hello, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro Numerologist, and welcome to your Solar Eclipse in Pisces Astro Numerology Forecast. This is the second eclipse of 2017. They always come in pairs. The first one was February 11th, and that was a lunar full moon eclipse, and now we have a new moon solar eclipse. Now, solar eclipses are just gigantic new moons in terms of how we experience them. It's all about new beginnings, and so this is a really big rebirth moment for us. The thing is, it's happening in Pisces, which is the final sign of the zodiac, and so there's a sense of finality, endings, and new beginnings at once. So this is very, very powerful because it allows things to really move through at a lot faster rate than if it's just completely new beginnings or endings because you're basically handling both at the same time. Now, what makes it even more potent is that this eclipse happens at eight degrees in Pisces. And so eight is the number of leadership and abundance and eternal life. It's the infinity sign, right? So it's the only number you can draw with your pen and never lift your pen when you repeatedly draw the number. There's no other number that does that. So it really is about energy and continuity and leaving a legacy behind. So since the number eight is also in the 2017 code, because the 17th year is also an eight, one plus seven is eight, and since it also happens on the 26th of February, and 26 is two plus six, which equals eight, we've got a huge emphasis on this number eight. So really a triple eight is activated on this day of this amazing eclipse. And so again, we are focusing on empowering ourselves through leadership, through taking the lead and not allowing fate and destiny up to you know outside forces we're here to create our destiny and be a huge instrument of fate ourselves for our own life and this new moon in pisces is saying okay let's end this old paradigm of where you think that or you feel that there's some kind of you know uh, mapped out um strategy for your life that you have to follow day in and out. Yes, that's true energetically, but the decisions that you make along the way are define how you experience that map. And this is where the number eight is so important to understand because you decide whether you're making lemonade out of those lemons or whether you're feeling upset that you're being dished out something challenging again. And so it is up to you to make that differentiation, right? Nobody can do that for you. No matter what your code says about your life, you are the one who defines the perception of the experiences that happen to you. So this Pisces solar eclipse is allowing you to let go of feeling victimized and open up to leading your life with full understanding that you create your reality. You create how you perceive everything that happens to you and you either learn from it or you ignore it and if you ignore it then it will happen to you again right so let's look at the fact that we have five planets in pisces this is really powerful we've got mercury in pisces the sun and moon the sun of course is a star not a planet sun and moon in pisces at eight degrees we've got neptune in pisces and neptune is the ruler of pisces Chiron is also in Pisces. So this is a huge emphasis on, you know, anything that's spiritual, uh, the divine, God, also creativity and compassion and being forgiving of others and, you know, restoring your faith in who you are as a spiritual being. And it's a very, very intuitive moment as well because you know having these five bodies planetary bodies in pisces the sign that is goes to the deepest waters of intuition and perception and connects us as brothers and sisters 
not only uh, in, in human terms, but in galactic terms, this is a major awakening moment. So you want to really use your dreams and focus on your dreams and set a clear intention because especially leading into this eclipse, you can really take advantage of the energetics and open up a huge portal of new life at this new moon eclipse, like brand new, uh, exciting opportunities for yourself. So what you wanna do is integrate your imagination with meditation and contemplation. This is super important, especially going into the eclipse in the hours before and the hours after. So, you know, rest up, take care of yourself, surrender to what you can't control, right? So this basically means surrender to the divine, surrender to God, enter this place of timelessness, merge with the universe. I'm giving you all the Piscean things to do, right? Merge near the, with the universe, be near water or have water uh, sounds around you because Pisces is a water sign. And and understand that this eclipse, even though it is an eclipse, right, we have things that will come to light as a result of the eclipse, right? So any eclipses are a portal, and solar eclipses are a portal to a new life, new beginning. So it's going to propel you forward towards your divine mission. So you really want to envision what you want to manifest. Super important that you set that intention. Um, you also, because it's, you know, Piscean, Neptunian, you want to empower yourself, which is that number eight. So empower yourself by connecting to others. So um, Neptune will be at 11 degrees during this eclipse, and that is the portal of awakening, the portal of light, the portal of intuition. And so in Pisces, your intuition really expands. So Neptune at 11 makes that even more uh, powerful. So you're really feeling at one with everyone and this is really exciting because it means you can have empathy for situations that you might have not had before and this will allow you to connect through love to others um, when you weren't possibly able to do that before so it gives you that that beautiful awareness now there are a couple of very powerful transits that we must look at there's a very strong t-square that happens and T-squares are really activating. Uh, this one in particular really urges you to break free. So if you look at the red lines that I marked up here on the chart, you can see that Mars is conjunct Uranus in Aries at 21 degrees during this eclipse. Now this is very, very potent. Mars rules Aries and so Mars is most comfortable in Aries and Mars is very fiery. It's about activating, it's about energizing, it's about igniting your life and moving forward, um, not taking no for an answer. And Uranus is the awakener. Uranus is the breakthrough, anything goes, let's just break the rules planet, the awakening uh, to your soul purpose planet. So when they come together, it's very fiery. It can be even aggressive and impulsive and volatile because the fire in Mars is saying, okay, let's just do whatever you want to do. And Uranus is saying, well, we're going to do anything. We're going to break free. We're going to make sure that there are no barriers to, you know, what it is we're focusing on. So this can be, it, it's both um, aggressive, but on the other hand, it is freeing you in a way that allows you to just embrace who you are as a unique being. So what you don't want to do during this time because of this conjunction is take huge risks because you may, there's a sense of losing control if you don't breathe and calm down during this very, very exciting conjunction. It also happens at 21 degrees and 21 is about the truth. So you really, really want to listen to what's coming at you or what you're discovering that um, feels you know like it is the truth because 21 is also the number of our century and it really defines you know the truth shall set you free so and then there's a t-square so we have that conjunction between uranus and, and mars and then their opposite jupiter which is at 22 degrees libra and then that opposition forms a square to pluto and which creates the the T-square, the triangle, the red triangle. So, you know, this is a, such a powerful forward momentum T-square to be fearless, 
uh, Pluto rules empowerment. And so the number eight, which I mentioned at the onset of the video, is also about empowerment. So there's a big sense of setting yourself free through Uranus and Jupiter and then empowering yourself to move forward. But don't do it at the expense of controlling others, right? Only focus on what it what is congruent to you without stepping on other people's boundaries while you're doing it. So Mars activates, Uranus awakens, Pluto transforms, and Jupiter gives you the spirituality and values to embrace and bring joy to the whole experience. So to keep this all in line during this powerful eclipse, you want to take time before you act, definitely meditate, breathe, know that Sun, Moon, Neptune, and Pisces can also sometimes bring, put a veil over the truth, right? And uh, you need to unveil that. You would need to unveil the illusion. So in a sense, this T-square allows you to do that because with all those planets in Pisces, you may feel like you're walking in a dream. And is this really true? And then Uranus and Mars conjunct with, and they're doing that T-square with Pluto and Jupiter are kind of coming in. Well, this is what you need to do to break through the veil. Just don't rush. Don't speed things up to the point where you lose control. So the real positive expression of this Pisces solar eclipse is that you want to energize your life in a place of peace, that you want to act, move forward, but in a place of compassion, right? Because that's Aries and Pisces. You want to act, but with tremendous compassion. And you want to energize the positive in your life. So don't react to the negative transform and transcend and transmute whatever seems negative and energize through the positive silver lining of whatever comes up for you. Have a beautiful, beautiful solar eclipse in Pisces. I really look forward to seeing you on the other side when we enter March and feature the next full moon. Lots of love.